All right, good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna to do chapter 12, lesson five with 3D shapes. We're doing faces, edges, and vertices. So we can get started. Problem of the day, which objects in the classroom or your home have the same shape as a rectangular prism? Go ahead and discuss that with the person sitting next to you. Well, I'm not sure what you found at your house, but I have an Ottoman right in front of me that's actually holding my computer um, that is in the shape of rectangular prism. All right, number one, name the shape. Name that 3D shape. Number two, name that 3D shape. If you said for number one, that is a cylinder, and number two, that is a cone, you are correct. Good job. All right, name those two 3D shapes. All right, hopefully you got number three was a pyramid and four was a sphere. Test practice. What is the name of the shape below? Is that a sphere, a cylinder, a cube, or a pyramid? Hopefully you answered cube and that was the correct answer. All right, so we're gonna investigate the math. How can we identify three-dimensional shapes? Okay, so when we're looking at a cube here, the flat side is a face. The sides of a 2D shape are now edges on a 3D shape. And where the edges meet and come to a point is called a vertex. So we're gonna go ahead and look at these 3D shapes. So I got a rectangular or I'm sorry, I got a pyramid, and how many faces would a pyramid have? How many edges? How many vertices? So I can look at a pyramid and say there's one, two, three, four, and one on the bottom, that's five faces. So then edges, I gotta count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges, and vertices or points, there's one, two, three, four on the back side, and five vertices. Go ahead and try to name faces, edges, and vertices of a cylinder, a sphere, and a rectangular prism. I'll go ahead and give you about 10, 15 seconds to go over those. All right, let's look at these. Uh, number of faces of a cylinder. A cylinder has two faces. If you look at a can of soup, it has two flat surfaces. It doesn't have any edges and has zero vertices or points. Um, a sphere doesn't have any flat faces, doesn't have any edges where the faces meet, and it doesn't have any vertices of where the edges meet. Now a rectangular prism, box pancake mix, cereal, things like that. You can count the faces, you can count one, Two on the back, three, four, five, and six. And then you gotta count all those edges to get 12 and all the points, there should be eight. There's four at the top and four at the bottom. So if you can find those 3D shapes in your house, those would definitely help you. <clears throat> all right, Lauren has the following objects in her room. Circle the object that has 12 edges. Place an X on the one that has zero faces and zero edges and underline the object that only has two faces. So go ahead and pause the video and talk with the person next to you which one you'd circle, put an X on and underline. So I would have put an X on the sphere, circled the cube because it has 12 edges, and I would have underlined the cylinder because it only has two faces. And faces are flat surfaces, flat sides. Um, well, that's really all we had for this lesson. If you have any questions, let me know. So looking here, I'm going to go over your STEM project and discuss what I'm going to assign on Seesaw. Um, today's STEM project is going to be, take a peek here, I almost forgot what it was. Yes. Build a bridge that will fit between two objects inside your home. Again, you can use whatever you want. You can use sticks, Legos, markers, pens, pencils, rubber bands, however you can make a bridge. 
but I want you to use a bridge to connect two things in your house. So like over here, I could do a bridge between my ottoman and my couch. If I really wanted to stretch it out, I could go between couch and couch, but I'm not going to. So there's your STEM project. Using any materials you want, build a bridge between two things in your home. Now let's go ahead and look at today's assignments. I've got math worksheets 66, 67, 68, and then my homework, there's two, so make sure you're checking your work that you do two pages, and then I'm also going to do a comma in a series. Um, as we know, schools are shut down for the remainder of the year. That's pretty sad. So guys, if you, if you want to talk or you need to see me reach out, let me know. We can schedule a Zoom conference. I can be available whenever. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can get through this together and see where next year puts us. So thanks for, thanks for doing the math lesson and good luck on your STEM. Can't wait to see it.